Hello everyone, it's Amy Fournier here with today's positive message of the day. Today we're going to talk a little bit about getting still so you can listen to your higher self, your inner voice, your intuition. How do you do that? You've probably heard that before that, you know, to, to hear your higher voice, you need to get still. And how do we get still when our culture is so busy running around, knocking off stuff on our to-do list and you know, responding and reacting to the constant barrage of emails, texts, phone messages, multiple things going on in our head, all the stuff coming at us 24-7 nowadays. So how in God's name are we supposed to get still? So we're going to refer to a book called Goddess to the Core by Sarera Bender. And here's a little uh, advice that she has for us on getting still. She says, I used to think it was better to always know what my next move would be than to get still and silent so I could hear my own heart guiding me. I had thought that being still was being vulnerable, that stopping and listening was a waste of time, that being still was being unproductive. I didn't realize it at the time, but I had been completely neglecting the feminine spiritual aspects of myself. And this is kind of the core message I wanted to share with you today, that by not creating white space in our lives to get still and quiet and passive and not doing, we are neglecting half of our being, that feminine energy that we all have in us, even if you're masculine, because we're all the yin and the yang. We all have the feminine and the masculine in us. And true health, true, true health is the balance, right? The balance between the two. Sometimes it's more appropriate to be a little more yin and sometimes a little more yang. But our culture, in my opinion, is very unbalanced in the yang. The go, 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 the do, 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 the high energy, out there, out there, out there. And where is there time in our lives for the yin? The resting, the restorative, the contemplation, the reflection, the, the, the quiet, the stillness. And particularly for women, I think that's really essential to get back in touch with that nature of ourselves. I know in the last year or two, it's been something I've been working on. And I'm much more at peace since I have. So that's the message today. Uh, I'm going to be doing another video continuing this idea of balancing the feminine energy. So look for it in the next few days if you're interested. Um, I hope this helps you. Please let me know your thoughts and comments. And I love knowing that you're out there and I'm not talking on my phone by myself. Um, thanks, everybody. Have an amazing day.